this is a very major one dishonor to prophetic instructions through disobedience or familiarity dishonor to prophetic instructions the fifth reason why people do not receive from God even in an atmosphere like this dishonor to prophetic instructions through disobedience or familiarity John chapter 2 we'll read 5 then we'll jump to 10 and 11 dishonor to prophetic instructions through disobedience or familiarity this is the wedding in Cana of Galilee and wine had finished Mary the mother of Jesus leads some of the people the disciples to Jesus and then she gives them a very good charge his mother said unto the servants whatsoever he saith unto you do it don't want to do it do it and they now did it verse 10 what happened and came to the rulers after the water had turned to wine the ruler said every man at the beginning doth set forth good wine and when men have well drunk then that which is worse but thou hast kept the good wine until now and then the bible says this beginning of miracles did jesus in cana of galilee and manifested forth his glory and the disciples believed on him at the strength of obedience to prophetic instructions can i give you one more scripture matthew 13 please from verse 54 we're reading to 58 matthew 13 54 to 58 and when he was coming to his own country watch this now he taught them in their synagogue in so much that they were astonished and said whence had this man this wisdom and this mighty works uh-huh 55 is this not the carpenter's son you see their foolish analysis is not his mother called mary and his brethren james joseph and simon and judas and his sisters are they not all with us we know this person whence then had this man all these things as a result the bible says they were offended in him but jesus said unto them a prophet is not supposed to be without honor except in his own country that means every true prophet in any area there is honor that is connected to priesthood there is honor that is connected to results but he says that you stand a chance to be despised in your own place and the bible says as a result he did not many miracle many mighty works there because of their unbelief jesus for you almighty jesus healing jesus i have searched and searched all the earth searched and searched all the earth and found that baba wani kamarka i have searched and searched all the earth searched and searched all the earth and found that baba wani kamarka and searched all the earth searched and searched all the earth and found that can I tell you to receive let me end this now 
there are three keys I want to hand to you. Then we begin to pray. In order to receive of this feast of the spirit, this feast of fat things. Let's go to Isaiah 44, 24 to 27. There are three keys that are locked in that scripture that becomes for us the guiding light into our receiving the miraculous from God. For saith the Lord thy Redeemer, and he that formed thee from the womb, I am the Lord that maketh all things. Did you see that? Very profound scripture. Not just the Lord that reveal it. Not just the Lord that give it. I am the Lord that maketh all things. That stretch forth the heavens alone and spread abroad the earth by myself. Next verse please. That frustrated the tokens of liars and maketh diviners mad and turneth wise men backward and maketh their knowledge foolish. I like this, that confirmeth the words of his servant and performeth the counsel of his messengers. I say to Jerusalem, thou shalt be inhabited and to the cities of Judah ye shall be built and I will raise up the decayed places thereof. I say it to the deep, be dry and I will dry up the rivers. The Bible says, watch this, you must believe in God himself. The one who makes, the one who gives, the one who works all things according to the counsel of his will. So to receive, what are the keys? Number one, you must believe in God. You must also believe in his love and his power towards you. You must believe in God. You must believe in God. John 17, 3. And this is life eternal, that they may know thee the only true God and Jesus whom thou hast sent. You must believe in God. You must believe in his love. I have loved you with an everlasting love and with my loving kindness I have drawn you. I have taught you here that every supernatural manifestation from God and by God to his people is a letter coming from heaven to you. And there are two basic things that are written in that letter. Number one, I love you. For every miracle you receive from Jesus, do not just receive the package, read the letter that is there. Every true manifestation of the power of God to the life of the saints comes with a letter from the throne room. One is the letter of love. Number two, he reminds you that he is still El Shaddai, all powerful. Tonight, as you receive diverse miracles from God, I beseech you by the message of God, do not just celebrate the package without reading the letter. My King and my Savior is writing letters to people. For someone, the letter he's writing to you is what I told you before still stands. And I have proven it right now. To some, he's writing to you that though your beginning be small, let your letter end shall greatly increase. For some, he's writing to you that I am still a faithful God and I'm still deserving of your trust. You must sustain the intelligence to read the letter that comes from heaven. Don't just celebrate the healing, the breakthrough, the prophetic word. Don't just fall down and stand up and clean yourself only to go back without receiving the letter. Every one of the many people here gathered tonight and the many more following online, I tell you there is a letter from his majesty. Even our earthly system of delivering letters is so effective. You can literally write letter to someone in the North Pole, the ends of the earth, and guarantee that it will arrive. And thanks to the internet now, with one click, one click, literally, they receive the mail, the text, or whatever device you are using. How much more God? There is a letter. When he presses send, there is no network problem. It gets to you for sure. I can send a letter to one person I can send a text to one person and of the thousands of people in this place that one person will receive not ten people not five people under normal circumstances don't say he's writing to us there is a unique letter his majesty is writing be spoke to the challenges that you've gone through for someone if he says I love you it may not make sense to him you were born in comfort all your family members love God you've gone through minimal witchcraft attacks because sacrifices were made before your arrival but to someone that letter I love you from heaven will be the healing balm he comes to someone as a great physician not just to heal you physically 
but to heal certain deep wounds that have been locked up within your spirit wounds that were created from your background and your upbringing that have destroyed you today the letter of love must be read I have loved you with an everlasting love and with my loving kindness I have drawn you you have heard the love language from many fake people many people who were not serious they did not even mean it they were playing games yet you believe them why don't you listen to the one who is the epitome of love the Bible says God is love he does not just show love he does not just have love it is the it is the ultimate the summation of his nature in one word is love God is love God is love and it is in the character of love to give this is why you can believe that he will freely give do you believe that so make sure you read the letter that comes that I love you for others you are reading the letter believe me I am still worthy of your trust you've lost the job you got a job in March lost it in May got into trouble July entered prison August came out September and you're saying I'm tired of this thing I'm about to leave God and he says, hey here is a letter from heaven for your light affliction which is but for a moment walketh in you a far more exceeding weight of glory while you look not at the things that are seen but the things that are unseen for the things that are seen are temporal subject to change but the things that are unseen are eternal hallelujah a letter for I reckon that the sufferings of this present time for someone is not worthy to be compared with the glory that shall be revealed in you you heard the touching testimony of the gentleman once upon a time he pushed wheelbarrow but now has been exalted that may be a letter for someone I am still the lifter of men I don't just lift in Lagos alone I don't just lift in America alone I lift anywhere I am believed even if it's inside a pit you can enter a dry pit like Joseph and the lifter does not just bring you from the pit to land he takes you from the pit to the throne God for you the prison to the throne he took Jesus from Hades until he sat at the right hand of the father hallelujah you've tempted me let me sing it I will hold on through the storm and I will hold on to your word my life will soon reveal you're the lifter of man the lifter of man who is this for that I will hold on through the storm Sing. I will hold on to the star. And I will hold on to your word. My life will soon reveal. You're the lifter of man. The lifter of man. Does God lift? Use the life of this man as a case study. Does God lift? Ask Joshua Selman. Does God lift? Ask Reverend Sam. Does God lift? Ask Koinonia. Does God lift? Ask Joseph. Does God lift? Ask Daniel. Does God lift? Ask Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Does God lift? Yes, sir. Yes, he does. From where? Anywhere. To where? Anywhere. Did you hear what I said? He lifts, but from where? Anywhere. To where? Say it, from where? Come on now. That anywhere can be anywhere indeed. From anywhere to anywhere. Anywhere can mean Saul to Paul. Anywhere can mean Rahab the prostitute to Rahab the champion. Anywhere can mean Ruth the despised to Ruth the wife of Boaz. Anywhere to anywhere let me prophesy to someone the lifter of men from anywhere to anywhere 
may he lift you in the name of Jesus you must believe in God's love number two you must believe in his servant you must believe in his servant it's not enough to believe in God you must believe in his servant if you believe in God and you despise his servant you will not receive anything the law is that you must believe in God and you must believe in the vessel he has sent to you listen not the vessel available the vessel sent just because a man is anointed does not mean he's sent to you there are people I've met that I prayed for and I just sensed in my heart this is just general prayer there was nothing that was drawn there were many widows in Zarephath but to none was Elijah sent that means Elijah passed certain widows and greeted them how are you madam fine and he left but when he went to the one he was sent